going on all of my healthcare brothers and sisters as well as my pre-healthcare professionals alike. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. We are finally at the end of our ATITs review. It is so bittersweet, but I am so happy because now you have all the material you, that you need to pass the ATITs like a boss. And today we're gonna be talking about vocabulary. already make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and better yet hit that bell notification it lets you know when I post new content here on YouTube give this video a big thumbs up that way it lets other people know that this is a good review video for the ATIT's exam and helping you pass it like a boss Vocabulary questions on this part of the ATITs will deal with figuring out the meaning of words based on synonyms context clues tone and your knowledge of root prefixes and suffixes so let's begin, understanding synonyms. Synonyms are two words with similar meanings. They may be asked to find a synonym for a certain word or to figure out the meaning of a word in a sentence that provides a synonym for the unknown word. Context clues questions are similar to those in the reading section, but you may be given as little as a single sentence rather than a longer passage. You will need to use the limited context to figure out the meaning of the word. Look at the surrounding context of the word that you are given, figure out the setting in which the word is used. If the word is part of a series, the other words in the series can provide valuable clues. Review the section on homographs in the chapter on spelling. I will include a link up here in the corner. Questions in this section may use homographs to test whether you are paying attention to the context. You should also consider the tone of the passage. That may give you a clue about the meaning of the unknown word. When understanding word origins, you may be asked questions about root words, prefixes, and suffixes. A root word is the base form of a word. Affixes are the part we attach to modify the meaning of that root word. A prefix is attached before the root and the suffix is attached after the root. You should spend some time and become familiar with the common affixes used in the medical profession. Here's a list of the common roots to get you started. Abdomen, abdomen, acus, hearing, adin, gland, added, fat, adrena, adrenal, arrow, gas, adrin, male, angie, vessel, anterior, frontal, Aor, artery. Arth, joint. Audi, hearing. Bio, life. Bronch, bronchus. Carson, cancer. Cardi, health. Cerebrum, cerebrum. Coli, bile. Chondra, cat cartilage. Col, colon, core, pupil, crany, cranium, cutane, skin, cyst, bladder, dactyl, finger or toe, derma, skin, dors, back or posterior, encephal, brain, enter, intestine, Esopha, esophagus. Esthe, sensation. Facey, face. Fiber, fiber. Gash, stomach. Gynec, female. Hemat or hemo, blood. Hepat, liver. Hist, tissue. Hister or meter, uterus. Intestine, Intestine, cara, hard, lapper, abdom abdominal, larin, larynx, lipo, fat, lymph, lymph, mam, mass, breast, my, muscle, mile, spinal cord, nasal, nose, neck, death, Nef, kidney, nur, nerve, ocul or optum, eye, op or optic, seeing or sight, or mouth, orchid, 
testicle or testes, osti, bone, oat, ear, ovary, ovary, ox or oxy, oxygen, pancre, pancreas, path, disease, pector, chest, Head or pod, foot, pelv, pelvis, pharmac or pharmaco, drug, phleb, vein, noom, air or lung, prostate, prostate gland, pulm, lung, ring, kidney, sept, infection, somat, body, stern, breastbone or sternum, tendon, tendon, Test could be testicle or testes, thorac, thorax or chest, thrum, clot, thry, thyroid gland, vas, ductor vestal, ven, vein, or vent, flunt of the body. Many medical terms are formed by combining one or two roots with a prefix or a suffix. So you need to know the common affixes as well. Here's a list of those common prefixes. Prefix A, an or are means not or without. An example would be amnesia, meaning no memory. Anti, prefix meaning against. Antipsychotic, a mind-altering medication. Dis, means bad or difficult, such as dysentery, an abnormal condition of the intestines. Endo, in, within. Endoscopy is a visual examination within the body. Epi, over or around epidural, on or around the dura mater, exo or extra is outside, exoskeleton is an external skeleton, hyper, beyond normal or high, hypertension means high blood pressure, hypo, low or under, hypoglycemia means low blood sugar, inter, between, interarticle, meaning between the joints, Intra, within, intravenous means in a vein. Macro, large or long, macroglossia meaning having a large tongue. Mal, means bad, malaise, general sense of feeling unwell. Micro, small, microscope, instrument for viewing small objects. Neo, new, neoplasm, abnormal new growth on tissue. Per, through, percutaneous, through the skin, peri, around or surrounding, pericardium is tissue surrounding the heart, poly, many, much, polydactyl, condition of having too many fingers or toes, post, after, postmortem means after death, pre, before, prenatal means before birth, Sub, below or under, like subcutaneous, under the skin. Super, supra, above, supraorbital, above the eye or socket. Tachy, rapid, tachycardia means fast heartbeat. Trans, across, through, translucent, translucent sorry, allowing light to shine through. And un, not, unformed means not formed. Lastly, we're gonna cover the common suffixes that you're gonna find with medical terminology. Ac, al, ar, ari means pertaining to, such as cardiac, that means pertaining to the heart. Algia, pain, malaysia, muscle pain. Ace is an enzyme like lipase, that's an enzyme that digests fat. Anesthesia, weakness, neurasthesia, weakness of nerves. Crin, to secrete, like endocrine, related to the glands. Sight, meaning cell, like a leukocyte, a white blood cell. Dynia, pain, such as gastrodynia, is stomach pain. Ectomy, or otomy, means surgical removal, such as tonsillectomy, removal of the tonsils. Emia, meaning blood, like anemia, is a deficiency of red blood cells. Gnosis, knowledge like prognosis, is the prediction for future. Gram, picture or record, cardiogram, is a record of heart activity. E or ism, state or condition, such as tachycardia, a condition of a rapid heart rate. Ick, pertaining to, means therapeutic, pertaining to treatment. Ist, 
one who specializes in gynecologist, specialist in women's reproduction, itis, inflammation such as sinusitis is the inflammation of sinus tissues, lysis, breakdown, separate, paralysis, loss of the ability to move or feel, lipsy, attack or seizure such as epilepsy, neurologic seizure disorder, ol or yule, small like molecule, smallest unit of a compound, ology, the study of such as biology, the study of little things, oma, suffix meaning tumor, blastoma, cancer of precursorous cells, osis, like a condition, ankylosis, abnormal joint stiffening, pathy, disease, like neuropathy related to nerve disorder, penia, meaning deficiency, osteopenia, means low bone mineral density, poesis, meaning formation, like hematopoiesis, formation of blood cellular components, and rash, excess fluid like hemorrhage, excess bleeding. I hope that this video has helped for you to pass your ATITs like a boss the first time. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you head over to my website at www.nursechung.com where there are additional resources related to the topics that we discuss here in these videos. Make sure you follow me on my social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, as well as here on YouTube. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. But until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will speak with you all again soon in our next video. Bye.